goss, the dirt, the trash. It's all in Amy's update. Amy and Sean, 1027 VGS. So on Friday, we heard Ariana Grande's new single, her first single. Yes, Anna. Solo single. Yes, that's what it's called. Uh, in three years. And uh, she actually, when I said that she's a home wrecker and a little tiny home wrecker, people uh, hated me on YouTube, liked me on Instagram, hated me on YouTube. And uh, I saw a little stat that she lost after releasing that song, 350,000 followers on oh, Instagram. no way. Because people wow. are upset um, at the at her, you know, kind of throwing that in people's faces. Whatever you think about it, I know what I think. I think she's a homewrecker. But you know what, though? (laughs) She doesn't care. Yes, and? That's what she... Right. I guess she does not care, but uh, (laughs) 350,000 plus people unfollowed her on Instagram. Crazy. Crazy. Amy, all she wants to do is live in a pineapple under Under the the sea. sea. Will you just let her do it? I know. I know it, man. (laughs) Come on. Gosh. And rumor has it they're living together already, which is... Crazy. She's definitely a relationship girl, that's for sure. Sure is. Lindsay Lohan was, uh, she had a cameo just a couple minutes in Mean Girls, which came out over the weekend. Uh, I think it did really well. Spoiler alert. Yeah. I haven't seen it, but uh, she made $500,000 yeah. for a half day work. She wasn't even oh. there a full day, and she made. Five hundred thousand dollars. Good for her. I could do with that right now. She's one of the like uh, the comeback kids. You know, like I feel like she was just ever since she was little, such a great actress. And then had a tough time. Parents are crazy for sure. That's the thing that absolutely doomed her. I mean, obviously she made her own decisions too, but her parents set her up so poorly. Yeah. That like I'm so happy that she's found her way out of this. Me too. And she's doing really well. She's married. She's got kids. And, and she's making $500,000 for four hours of her life. So go, congratulations. Mom. I was so excited when I saw this on Gwen Stefani's uh, Instagram page. I knew it was a tease for something. Uh, she had like the cover of one of the albums called the No Doubt Albums uh, behind her. And she's like, oh, yeah, this. Oh, I created this. All oh, the memories. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to call Tony. Gets him on FaceTime. Uh-huh. Gets everybody on FaceTime. Hey, we should go on the road. Let's, let's oh. do a show. Let's do a show. So I I am so hype. I'm like, oh my gosh, no doubt it's going to go on tour. They are not going on tour. They will be headlining Coachella. Okay, you know what? I'll give it to them. That's cool. Yeah, that's Very cool. cool. And I honestly think that's them dipping their toe in. Because I think they're going to see that the fan base is there and they will They're going to do it again. Yeah, Agree. Yeah. So this is very interesting because uh, for, for the headliners, it has Lana Del Rey, Tyler, the creator, Doja Cat, and then at the very bottom, it says, and dot, 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 no doubt. So I don't know where they're going to be, when they're going to be, if they're going to be all the days, some of the days, who knows. But they uh, will be there, which I think is super, super exciting.